So, holy cow, I did it. Hi everyone, I'm Erin, this is That's So Random. So this video is going to be me making a mask that is shaped like the My Hero Academia uniform, gym uniform. So it's not a full tutorial, but it's something, it's how I did it. So let's get into the video. Okay, so the design I want to do is just the front part. So I took in seam allowances on the pattern. Um, I have it listed down below. It's not mine, it's somebody else's. Uh, so if you want to do this pattern, they have the pattern to freely download and instructions on how to do it. So I'm going to see if I can get that onto here. Okay, so I'm trying to take into account the curvature of the face, so that's why it's not... I mean, this is also angled, but this is why it's a little bit more angled, hoping that when it's on the face it'll look more straight up. Uh, and then I'll add seam allowances once I cut it out. I don't mind going past the top and the bottom because then that will get folded over. I'm more concerned about this line because I will be sewing the mask shelf first and then stitching this stuff on top with the seam allowance folded under so like an applique kind of so let's get this cut out and okay my pieces are cut out my fabric my white fabric's folded and i'm going to stick these pieces on the fold trace them as they are and then I'm going to go back and add some seam allowance that I can use to fold over. <laughs> and the fabric is folded over on the... So the... The fabric is folded over with the right sides on the inside, so I'm actually marking on the wrong side of the fabric. pull out my broken tool and just go around and add a quarter of an inch all along come back when this is fully uh, seam allowanced. Okay, so I have it all lined out and I just, while I was working on this, remembered that what I could do is since this is where I want to show this inner line, I just have to, when I, after I cut this out and I, I'm going to stitch a quarter inch allowance, that's because that's what that's this is, stitch around uh, following this edge, this outer edge, on the edge of my presser foot, quarter inch, and it will stitch along this line, that I, all these lines that I want, 
and I can then take it over to the iron and roll it under. So then when I go to stitch this on the front of the mask, it will, or the seams will be, the bra edges will be hidden when I stitch it down. So I'm going to get to cutting this out. Okay, so it looks like I have a little bit too much of a angle there, so I'm going to open this up a bit and snip it just a little bit, just so I don't have that angle there, and then I'm okay. Okay with the A. Mm, I might snip this a little bit. Just a smidge. Okay, so let's go take this over to the sewing machine and sew it. Sew the edges. <laughs> or not the edges, a uh, quarter inch in so I can fold this over. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip like that so I can fold in these nice and neatly when I take it over to the iron. I'm even going to cut these outer corners too, getting up close to the stitches but not past them. Looks a little big. I'm hoping it'll work. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna leave this off to the side and start the U real quick before I take it over to the iron and press it. And then after I finish pressing it, you will see what it looks like. Okay, I'm going to go take these to the iron and then we'll look at them when I finish. So I went to the iron and realized that I did not cut these outer corners right. I'm actually supposed to cut them into a square to keep the points from sticking out when I go to fold it. So I'm going to do that and then finish it with the iron. Cord. 
Okay, so I only have A done right now. It was really fiddly trying to get it to attach, well, to fold it over. So I have everything pinned, fold it over. So what I'm going to try and do is center this as best as I can. So maybe just fold it in half and fold this in half. I'm gonna push it down just a little bit. So it's all pinned down now. <laughs> so I'm hoping I just need to pin this down here. Grab two more pins. Okay. I'm gonna kind of push. this one down too. Okay, so now I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and very carefully try and stitch this down and hope that it looks half decent. If not, I can remove it and do the half. So I'll keep this in and we'll find out. <laughs>
Okay. There's the A. So, a little wonky. Some spots that I can kind of take off. This. Okay. Now to do the same thing for the U and we'll come back when I finish. <sighs> I did it. <laughs> uh, now to sew this to the inside so you don't see this. So let's get to that. Oh my gosh. Uh, wow. <laughs> okay. So the one thing that I do different than the pattern is the pattern wants you to fold this over and cover the hole. But what I like to do is kind of pull it back just a little bit. Um, so if you have like filters or something that you want to, how do I put this? Um, they make filters for masks, and if you want to insert a filter or add something more, because I did do this the way that the pattern says, which is just two pieces of fabric. I normally do three to four um, multiples of the lining, so it's not bulky on the front. It's all bulky in the, in the back where your face is, so no one sees it. So that's the only thing that I do different is I fold this over. So for filters, that's what I'm going to do. So if she wants to put it like a filter or another, you know, like the surgical masks, you can kind of stuff it in there. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to do that.
So, holy cow, I did it. Um, didn't think, it, I mean, it's a little crooked, let's be honest, but it's okay, because, you know, when it's on your face, let's see. Eh, I mean, if you really look at it, you can see it, but I, I mean, this is pretty cool. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, definitely would do it differently would be to put the whites parts, these parts, uh, have them already cut in half and sew them on before I actually sew the, the center seam. I feel like that would have been easier, but at the same time too, the reason why I did it this way was I actually didn't want a seam in the middle. I wanted it to kind of lay on top, but it was a lot harder, uh, to try and, well, I think both ways would be hard. Uh, ooh. <laughs> I think both ways would be hard because of the fact that you would have to line this up when you sewed the center seam. And that is something, you know, finicky. But, I mean, I love it. I know she'll love it. Um, something that I like to do for for these is because since elastic has been such a pain in the butt to find, Shoelaces. I know that sounds crazy, but shoelaces, um, you put it with the lace going up on both sides. So you have the loop down here and then you put it over your head and you tighten it up here and then you tie it up on your head and it relieves a lot of the ear fatigue that you get from those ones that wrap around your ear. I personally don't like the ones that wrap around my ear. I mean, my ears aren't that, you know, they're kind of small, but I just, I can hardly wear earrings. I wear them once in a while, so having something here for a while hurts more than having it here. Um, plus, I feel this is more secure than having it around your ear. Like, this, I feel like just falls off, and then all of a sudden you're, like, you know, exposing yourself. Uh, yeah, so if you make this. I would love to see it. Uh, my Instagram is also that's so random, all one word, two S's between for that. So, so it's T H at, <laughs> I'll link it down below <laughs> instead of trying to spell it out. Uh, yeah, I'd love to see it. Um, just tag me and, uh, you know, <laughs> it's been a very hot, long day making this. So, so, and this is, I know, a little different than, oh, so see you in my next video.